everybody, my name is Luke Mar, and this is Hot Mode. And today on Hot Mode, we are coming to you with a way too sexy Say Yes to the Dress wedding reaction video. Sometimes people on Say Yes to the Dress put on dresses that are very sexy, scantily clad, sometimes just altogether not there. I live, I laugh, I love, I don't judge. Listen, you wanna show it off? Hey, as I always say, if you believe that God made the girls, God wants to see the girls. But I think it's also important that we react to some of them, see the way that people address their sexy sort of styles. I also want to see the sexy styles because I think that it's fun and exciting. So without further ado, let's get into this reaction. So this first one is titled, It's Making Me Ill. Doesn't sound super nice so far. I'm feeling we're gonna get a judgy family moment. Sexy dress to show off her cosmetic surgery, which is a say yes to the dress Lancashire. Mel. BC, before cosmetic surgery. Okay, so her name is Mel. She likes cosmetic surgery. As I always say on here, if they could give me toilet bowl teeth, I would be very happy. Ding. I would live my life so happily, so wonderfully, so beautifully. I'd have to get them replaced pretty often because of the amount of sugar that I eat, but I would be happy with my life. No confidence, really. So the person I am now, Aww. I'm really, really different to how I used to be. I was in a bit of a, an unhappy relationship. I wasn't happy with myself. I was made mm. to feel as if I kind of I wasn't good enough, that I wasn't attractive. Aw, who him? Or them, or her, whoever. Almost like I was kept in a box, if that makes sense, that I couldn't be that person that I knew deep down that I was. I came out of that relationship and thought, well, it's kind of me time now. Started getting hair done, started getting work done, had my boobs done, had nose jobs, had... Everything okay. done, um, started getting my tattoos. The butterflies mean a lot to me because they symbolise that transition that I've yeah, made from yeah. feeling Aww. like that caterpillar and kind of coming out as this butterfly. Yeah. I think the tattoos are nice. Listen, tattoos aren't everybody's thing. I understand that. I personally have a few. I don't have like a sleeve or anything like that or anything on my neck, but like, honestly, my opinion is like to each their own. To each his own. Live your best life. Like if the tattoos make you feel more comfortable, then I'm happy for you to feel more comfortable with yourself. Like that's how I live my life is I want you to be happy. The happier you are, the less upset it's going to make me. I'm personally selfish, but I'm selfish because I think other people being joyful and good and wonderful and happy and loving and caring will probably benefit me. So it's a good kind of selfish. And I just Aww. feel now even looking back, it's like, who was that? That wasn't me. She's got this Aww. really glam um, body. All right, and Denise. you can see the work that she's had done. I love a body. I love a body. It's made her feel better about herself, so why not? Glam body. You can open your eyes and see yourself Aww. for the first time. I like this dress. I think it's pretty. I love the lace. I think the lace on the bodice is really nice. I don't think it's like too sexy, personally, in my opinion. Listen, I'm like not a Christian nationalist, so I have a skewed version of what is appropriate, but I don't think that the lace is really showing off oh my gosh, so much skin. And I love the way that the lace descends down the sides and leaves the front to be nice and sort of matte and clean. But the lace sort of trickles down along the hips, down the legs, and then flows into the train. Honestly, at the back, I also really like it. I think it's sweet. I think it's nice. It's petite. The showing of the back too, I think is nice. If you have tattoos, you paid a lot of money for them. You spent a lot of time sitting in a chair to show them off. Why not get a dress that enhances and exposes that? Oh my God. Aww. Yay. Oh I like God. these videos. She's so happy. Good. Good for her. Aww. I love things. It makes me happy. Stood there with this exterior of this confidence that I've built up and this wall I've built up in this dress, which stripped all that away. Oh my God. Aww. Because there's two males that I'm seeing right now, and you didn't expect the other male to come out, and I know she's here already. I thought he said two males, and I was like, where? Where are the men? But two males, cute. I love it. I love everything about it. Love the train in the back. Oh, I love the train. It's beautiful from the back. It fits her really, really well so far, and I think with the alterations, it'll be even better. I love the lace. It's a really nice dress. It's really beautiful. I also love getting to see that it does expose a little bit of body on the side and on the hip area, but you have this white sort of mesh on the side that is kind of sheer, but it's not so sheer that it really doesn't expose that much of the body. There's a bit of side boob as well, which is fab. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I absolutely love it. Yeah. 
Yeah, Denise, I, love all I stand. The detail, how it makes your waist look even tiny. I love that the puppies look nice and secure. I stand, Denise. You look stunning. Yes. And I'm really pleased you went for stunning. something revealing, but not so revealing, because that was my a bit of a concern. Yeah. I don't want to have to tell you that. I agree. No. I think that what we should do, though, Bernie, I think we should ramp it up. Now, let's go pure sex. Let's go to the space that you wanted to go to originally, because I think okay. actually... I'm into maybe pure you're sex. slightly more conservative than you thought. Mm. We'll see. So let's come with it. me. Interesting. All right. OK, Gawk, I see you. I, I see you. I recognise. It's going to be <sighs> everything out. I might be... And not happy. If she does come down in a dress, Denise, a lot more revealing. don't stress me out like this. And neither of us like it. What are we going to do? Yeah, we might have a fight on our hands. I think we might have to be quite firm. <laughs> Denise, don't disappoint me like this. I think she wanted to cry. Oh, okay, like, that's sheer. That is sheer, I agree. But again, I don't think it's that bad. Oh, Carl was mortified, didn't know where to look. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> okay, 2500 maybe a little expensive <laughs> for that. Just saying. When you look at the mirror, what do you see? I love it. Aw, <laughs> good for her. Listen, I'm happy. I, I do, I absolutely love it. It's me. It's like, look in there and I feel proud. Oh my God, myself. that is, that's a whole lot of sheer. But again, like, I don't know. I think maybe as somebody that works in fashion, somebody that's like not afraid of people expressing themselves, I don't really work by the standard conventions of like what is appropriate and not appropriate. I hear it from like people in my life. They're like, I don't know, like this, I don't like that. You should wear this, blah, blah, blah. Not to me, but like about other people. And I'm always like, why do you care? What about it? you know, makes you care so much. I say this is somebody that comments on people's outfits in real life, but like, let me be very clear. I leave it all on the field. You know what I mean? Like I care when I'm here talking to all of you. And then in real life, I don't give a singular flying falute. Don't care. It does not affect my life at all whatsoever. I don't get it. I feel proud of my body. I feel proud of what I've achieved. Good for her. This is my story dress. I love that. Good for her. I like the little sort of trumpet silhouette. I think the lace is okay. I'm not obsessed with it. I don't think it's really like stunning, but I think it's nice. Respect for you, Melon. I know you've come a long way and I know a little bit about your story, but that is definitely a no. Oh. It's not you, darling. And it's making me feel quite ill looking <laughs> at it. I really Denise. A2, Denise, A2. I really, I'm disappointed in your behavior. You don't like it, it's vile. Oh! <gasps> See, I just think there's also just better ways to communicate people. Like there are better ways to say, honestly, I don't like it. Personally, I think it's maybe a little bit too much skin. I understand your story. I understand wanting to really show everything off. But at the same time, is there a way to find something that doesn't necessarily exist as an entirely sheer style? Is there any way we can work around that? Any other fabric, any other material, any other cut that really shows off the body but doesn't actually showcase the body entirely in terms of sheerness and exposure. But it makes me feel ill, it's vile, like that shit nobody wants to hear ever. That shit that scars people. So let's work on not saying that. Thank you, Denise. Oh. Yeah, and like she's a little upsetty spaghetti. She might not seem like it, but like, you know. I can't see the softer. Mel in no. that. No. You could maybe wear it for bed or something, but... <laughs> Sorry. It's a really expensive nighting. Uh, really? I know, but it's just not... It's but doing like nothing nice, for your tats. Like no, a nice, what, what? like, white pair of knickers or some diamantes no, on some lace. Me, the diamantes. Sorry, I love you, I do, but we've already had this discussion <laughs> and I told you I'd be honest, but I don't like anything about it. I, again, like, I just don't understand that because I don't think that's true. I just don't believe that you don't like anything about it, that you can't see there's a beauty to it. Like, I don't think that that's the truth. I think you can see a beauty to it. I just think you can also say, listen, maybe this is not necessarily the time and the place to wear that. We wouldn't be good friends at all if we let her go to a wedding like that. Babe, it's your wedding day and Ollie would have a fit. Absolutely. They were all like, no, no, I hate it. I was like, well, no, hold on a minute. I really like this. Okay, Mel, stand. Stand on your conviction. I want to go with it. 
The idea of bringing both moles together into one dress is a little bit scary. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we've moved on. See-through. Ah, okay. So you're getting this see-throughness, yeah. this yeah. kind of raciness, but then you're getting all the formality of this one. So she would try See, on. there is a way to work around such a thing. Always a way, always a way. Just oh, I do love that. The lace applique is really the beautiful. Absolutely. The crystals on it, the sequins, the it's nice. One, I love the, the way those little two. sort of floral stems and leaves move throughout the dress. It's really nice. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I think that that is a good compromise. I think everybody wins here. I absolutely she love it. Stunning. It's just utterly perfect. It, it's got a bit of cleavage. It's still got a bit yeah, of feel to exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Does this dress make you feel proud? Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. the skirt. Yeah. That's what we're going for, for you to I really do. I love those little good days. They're hot and sexy. It's exactly what I want. Oh. I can definitely start. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like veiny. It feels a little Iris Van Herpen to me. I'm into it. I say the old male positively, whereas it's always been in my head mm. that the old male was I like so this negative. dress. I like this dress a lot. I think the applique is Isn't a bad thing stem. all the time? Let's find out what the guys think. Oh. I love it. <laughs> yeah, good. I and I love how happy you are. I just love Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. This is your story now, though. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. This is the vulnerable male working its way up to the racy male, and the finish of the story is the smile on your face and saying, I do. Aww. So it leaves me a very important question. To Where's Denise? Mm -hmm. Wanna oh, Denise to rehash? To the dress. Yes. Yay. OK, good. I love that dress. I think it's a beautiful dress. I'm happy for her. Yay, Mel. Smiling Proud of you. You're a star. Dress. It was lovely. Oh, good. Thank you, Denise. Appreciate you. Everything I've been through, this is a pinnacle. This is it. It's all See, like, like that's sexy, but it's not too sexy. Dress. I don't it's think perfect. so. All right. Family thinks bride's dress is too sexy for a traditional church wedding. Okay, it depends on what kind of church you're going to, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe a priest would be like, actually, no, you can't wear that, but no, no, no. Let's go. This is my fifth appointment at Client Field. Okay, I've tried Steph. More than 50 dresses. 50 is a lot. My first, second, third, and fourth appointment, they all went well, but I guess I'm just picky. Never hurts to be picky. I want a princess ball gown with a lot okay. of sparkle. My dad wants me to wear something conservative, but I want something okay. a little bit sexy and okay. modern. It's gonna be 600 people at my wedding. Oh, oh my goodness, wow. The wedding is gonna be in Indonesia. Oh, it's, it's like, okay, wedding. 300, 400, okay. Okay, the dress, blue lace is already a lot. Very intrigued. We met in Vancouver, Canada. My fiance's name is Wilson. I love him so much because he makes me feel like a princess. Okay. We've been together for more than six Wilson. years. Wilson. He is the one who can cheer me Aww. up when I'm feeling down. So I'm excited to spend the rest of my life with him. Yeah, good for her. So this was the Panina dress. Oh, Panina. If you don't name drop Panina, I don't think it's a say yes to the dress episode video experience. Ladies, we cannot say no to this one. Ooh. Hey, Stephanie. Oh, I love that. The diamonds are beautiful. I do really, really like that. I really love this one. Personally. This just... I love the yeah. skirt. Okay. I also like the sheer, and normally I don't, I'm not a blinger, but I would bling ring this. I like that. I don't see a smile Fair. there. They say it's like too sexy because it's for the church. My parents picture me walking down the aisle with a more conservative okay, fair. dress. Not ready to give up on a sexy. Okay. Gift. And Paula has some new it's options. Fair. She hopes will work. It's fair. The next gown is an eight thousand four hundred dollars see-through panina. Here comes the bride. Ooh. See, I like the lace, big skirt. She okay, so she likes like a tight bodice and a very big skirt. I don't know if that's like yeah. appropriate to get married in a church. It's a little bit too much. The rhinestones are huge and they're- Okay, but like, I don't think the rhinestones are the problem. People are tacky, God makes tacky people, it's fine. I think we're talking about the, the sheer bodice element. I like someone see more in a costume than for a wedding. 
But I like. I don't think it's terrible. You know what I mean? It's not my style. It's not something I wear. It's kind of showgirlish. But like you're a Las Vegas showgirl. I don't see like, it as terrible. Yeah. yeah, the see-through part. I don't think your parents would like that. It's not very conservative. I think it's cute. It's not classy. I don't think it's appropriate for a church. Okay, well I don't know about. I don't know about classy. the see-through. Yeah, I don't think it's unclassy. No it's the bottom. I'm not a big fan. It's all a little bit busy. Yeah. I get that. <laughs> it's a little frou-frou. My entourage doesn't like the sheer that much. They say it's like I'm going to a club, not That's to not a wedding. True. I love the sparkle, um, the Swarovski, and how it's kind of lining down to my yeah. waist. See true? I think that's like too much flash and poof. Like I'm and... not wearing the dress. Like the dress is wearing me. Is yeah, yeah. Based on her entourage's strong reaction, Stephanie doesn't show her parents this gown. So Stephanie, I think we should go look at the dress that we have in the room. My entourage, I love them. But will I listen to them? I'm unsure. I don't love this dress already. It's, it's just like bedazzled bodice and big tool skirt. It's not really saying much. Is it? Fine, but the jewels are not. And also the skirt, I don't think, especially coming in just directly at the waist, is really helpful. Like there's, there's no sort of movement, there's no sort of eager flow. It just feels sharp and strict and The Swarovski are not as wow as the I agree. But they're a nice wow. They're a classy wow. You know what? Let's keep the classy comments to ourselves, okay? Classy comments, so. This is much more appropriate. You don't want to show this to your mom and dad? <laughs> Okay, yeah, show it to them. Yeah. She doesn't like it. You can tell she doesn't like Hi. it. You can tell. What do you think? They smi they're, they're smiling. Really like it. They're smiling. They're smiling. They love it. Oh. They want to have a bit more cover. So you want me to cover this part? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll get something to cover. So I don't know if this is... We're gonna see we can't have everything you want, parents. I'm sorry. Is enough covers? Maybe if you pay for it, I guess you can, but... Is it too low? Yeah. But you want me to cover the whole part. Try another one. Try another one? I Wait, like the, the little I shrug. Frustrated, but I don't it's think a lot I of crystal. Without their approval. I, have one I do more. like the frilly little edge. I think okay. that's cute. Looks like an oyster. Stephanie needs a conservative Fair. gown for her traditional Fair. church wedding, but she continues to try on sex. All right, let's do one more, but I don't think she, you know, I feel like everybody's hating on her lifestyle. She's just trying to show off, but not even dramatically. I don't even think they're that sexy. Okay. Look at how beautiful this is. It's such a full skirt. It's very pretty. It's free. This doesn't have that. That's pretty. Please. Girls. Pep it up. Something that your parents might actually like. They're like, okay, can you stop? We've been to quite a few shops. Yeah, we like it. We like it. Yay, okay, good. Listen, if she's happy with it, I'm happy with it. She looks very princessy, which I think is nice. I don't think it gets better than that, Stephanie. <laughs> Sold then. Good. I don't know what to say. <laughs> say yes. <laughs> Aww. Everybody's silence. We're waiting to hear from you. Does she like it? Does she not like it? She doesn't like it. I'm not ready to make a decision right now. I need to sleep on it. I'm nervous. The one that I've been dreaming of, this doesn't have... Yes, I knew it, I could tell. ...that I've been dreaming of. Good for her. She wants sexy. That's not sexy. Really it's pretty, it's nice, it's formal, wants, but she it's not sexy. No matter what anyone else in the entourage says. Randy is right. Good for Stephanie. She's holding her own. Let's get into Bride Wants to Look Like Sexy Jessica Rabbit. I am intrigued. Mm. We're back in New York, we're at Kleinfeld. I love Nicole. Dress regrets. Dress regrets. It's a beautiful New York accent. They can't buy that kind of accent, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a more stressful appointment because she doesn't want to make that mistake again. Oh. My name is Mackenzie Hughes, I'm 29. Okay, Mackenzie. So I purchased two dresses right when I got engaged and I felt they were simple and now I have regrets that I did. I know. Were, as Nick liked to say, promise. Okay, so. Might possibly have a couple sassy gals on the panel. I'm intrigued. Think Jessica Rabbit, okay, in a white dress. I mean, I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't mind a Jessica Rabbit moment. We can watch Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The proportions are incredibly unrealistic. It's a, I would say, a stereotypical depiction of a sexy woman. But at the same time, everybody loves Jessica Rabbit. She's an icon, she's a legend, she's a star. And I'm intrigued to see the sort of sex appeal element of the dress. And 
tell me a price point you'd like to stay at. I would like. Okay. Stick it around. We might have spent a little bit, you know. I love it. On I'll the other two. More. Okay. So. All right. Tell me about the venue. We're having a ceremony on top of this new hotel okay. in Old City, Philadelphia. Cool. Very much like a raw space, New York loft Beautiful. feel. Okay, like let's get started. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm intrigued. So, tell me about your fiance. They love it. My tell me about the fiance. Tim, I met him in LA um, okay. at a bar. Tim and I have been together for okay. two and a half years. Tim is the perfect guy for me because he nice. balances me. And I also bring out the fun in him. Perfect, well I'm gonna go get started. Cute, let's get into it. Yeah, I'm excited, you. let's go. I wanna know. I don't like that one. No? Ooh. Um, All like right. something. Okay. I don't like any of the dresses. They're very matronly. I am very nervous at this time because I feel that She's not understanding my vision, or maybe I'm not clear. She did say sexy Jessica Rabbit in white. So, I mean, it's kind of clear, unless you've never seen a picture of Jessica Rabbit. Because so. she rejected all five dresses, I need to take her shopping. I need to show her some okay. dresses and let her pick for herself. It may help for her to see some dresses, show me what she likes, details she likes, anything that she likes at this point, even to just keep her from being discouraged in this appointment. This to me doesn't work because this is like one and this is the other. Okay, over here. Let's okay. Go down here. So we have some thin flares like I this. I get Mackenzie's vibe. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like, see, I don't like this and how it has like Just a, a bra. It looks like here. a bra on the top. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hate because it. Of... No. Just don't get it. I'm showing Mackenzie. Oh, she's gonna have a difficult bride at it. Hating everything. Hating everything. At this point, I don't even know if she wants to find a dress. Several of these have a corset back. Mm -hmm. I hate this. All these dresses just weren't my style. Just pull, I guess pull yeah. that, just because it's the first thing that I'm like, okay, some went better. Mackenzie sees uh, an Alita Graham dress that she shows a little bit of interest okay. in. And at this point, a little bit of interest is a lot of interest for me, and we've got to get it on her, see how she feels. Just try something. Okay, let me get you corseted up first. Okay. <laughs> Just try it. The corset, I like. Okay, this is, oh, it fits beautifully on her. I don't love laying on the neckline, but I like the drape a lot. All right, guys. Okay. So. It's not that sexy. Just saying. This dress is mm. too cupcake. -y. Yeah. I don't really like know why they're showing her stuff with like big ball gowns. Uh, bling. So I feel like she should be seeing something that's like slinkier and sexier, a little bit more form fitted. Anything traditional. You said Jessica Rabbit, but this is not Jessica Rabbit. I agree. He's not wrong. One minute she wants to look like Jessica Rabbit, then the next minute she wants to look like a tra traditional bride. I have no idea what Mackenzie wants. And neither does she. Nick said, I know. Mackenzie has already bought two wedding dresses. Felt they were simple, they were safe. Let's try it. Okay. I'm intrigued by the, the drape okay. at the waist, but it's oh. it fits. Oh, I mean yes. that oh, yes. that fits. You look it feels more just rabbit y. I don't love the skirt. Really. I love it. This is a dress. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I love it. A low it's slung so drape. This dress is a low absolutely rise. breathtaking. She looks amazing in it. Uh, I do. I absolutely do. Huh? It's just that flap in the back that comes this around. This drape back there? Yeah. yeah. Is that what it is? So yeah. you know that that drape is how you get this volume at the bottom. It's a, it's a low risey little yeah. skirt. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Pick it and then be like, why did I pick it? I've already put money into two other dresses. I just want it to get the right dress. So let's try on Fair. this one more dress, okay? It is sexy though. Perfect. I'm looking at it. It's just not a wow. It's beautiful, yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, not yeah. a wow. I'm not, I'm not in disagree. Do you love it? I like the other one better. Okay. I want to probably try that on Put it back one more on. time. Yeah. Okay. She has that walk now. She looks nice. It's a, it's a nice dress. The drape's a little bit much, but. I'm over dress shopping. That's what I think. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah. Are you saying yes to the dress? Ooh. Yes, I am. <gasps> Doesn't seem like a convincing yes, but okay. All right. This All right. dress has everything my other dresses don't have. Okay. Mackenzie said yes to her third and hopefully final wedding dress. All right. All right. Panina Perla D. So that's the end of our little say yes to the dress experience. Let's talk about a best and a worst. I'm gonna say the best has to be the 
chosen dress by Mel in that first video. I just think it was cuter. I think it was sexier. I think it was funner. I think that it had a nice way of going about doing sexy body exposure, but with beautiful applique. Worst dress, oh, I'm gonna say the third one that we saw on Stephanie's look. Cause I was like, wah, wah, this is bad, that sucks. Nobody likes that dress. Those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this AS2 dress. Please let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I will see you guys on the next video and TTYL.